High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, look at the time and look at the traffic. It's time for school with High Plains Technology Center, and we've got Katie Shirley in again this Wednesday with another guest. Good morning. Good morning, Brett. This morning I have with me Mrs. Karen Rogers. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Glad to have you here. So this is the famous Mr. Rogers' wife also, if you want to connect to that. So, Karen, how long have you been at High Plains? Um, This is my 16th year. 16th. And what did you do before coming to High Plains? Um, Before High Plains, I I taught um, at Highland Park for about, um, not Highland Park, excuse me, at Cedar Heights for, um, I'd say about 10 to 15 years. And I've taught second grade total here in Woodward um, for 18 years. And then before that, I taught uh, first grade in a pre-K class and... So just a little bit of everything. Awesome. And you are the service careers instructor at High Plains. Yes. So um, tell us about service careers, the program as itself, and then some of the career majors that students um, can work towards in, in your program. Okay. Um, it's it's a very diverse program. We have a, a lot of opportunities to, to explore different options um, in the with career paths that involve a service. So... One of the first things we have is we have a horticulture um, assistant component that are a career major that deals with um, our greenhouse. We're right now we're we're taking cuttings, we're planting plugs, we're um, propagating um, in different ways, we're um, checking and keeping our plants clean and healthy, and so um, we're busy, really, really busy in the greenhouse right now um, with the hort side, and then we have a building and ground side which also deals with like weed eaters and lawnmowers and edgers and that kind of thing and and just yard work along with um, how to keep a a building clean, how to keep Mm -hmm. um, and and a part of that also is the auto detail program that we have. So we we detail cars for people um, and we are um, pretty, pretty good with that. But that's whenever the kids get a chance to see something from start to finish and and really get to learn how to work together as a team and how for somebody to take the lead. So um, that's part of uh, building in grounds. And then um, we also have a teacher prep component where um, high school students that think that they might want to be teachers come. And, and um, we first off work to get our para, their para certificates, which um, will allow them to go into the school system when they graduate. Um, um, we'll, they, will have, they will take the test, the certification test. They'll get the hours they need for the um, uh, for their the modules that they need to, the class that mm-hmm. is required, and so they're kind of ready to go um, when they get out of school if they want to be a para, which is someone who helps a special needs child, whether it be physically, mentally, emotionally. They they help the different students around the um, in the different classrooms, and um, then also we do observing and and we'll have um, hopefully in March be able to have the some of the classes over where my kids will plan activities and we'll. Um, you know, do crafts and do science projects and things with different kids that come in. Awesome. So um, speaking of the horticulture, that is um, most people have heard about our plant cell in town. And if not, you've really been missing out. But um, it's a very popular plant cell. And that is these plants that these students are working on right now and almost all year long. Or do you get started right right into the school year pretty much on... Mm -hmm. Probably in about um, October, November, pre- people will bring like mother plants, like uh-huh. plants that, that are going to die if they stay outside and like succulent pots and that kind of thing. And we make sure those are all clean. And then the kids start with those. We, we take cuttings from those. And so really, do we do start in October, early. November. Um, the succulents will, will divide and propagate succulents because if you don't start those growing back in October and November, then they're not ready to ready. sell in April. So, and, and so the date that you're kind of looking at now for the plant cell is late April? Yeah. Um, we're looking at, at the last two. It'll be probably a Thursday, Friday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of the last two weeks. We're kind of... Of April. Of April. Okay. And so watch our social media, and we'll make sure and start advertising and sharing that date and times um, as soon as we know that. And then also, um, speaking of teacher prep, which aren't there quite a few paras needed in each school currently? It seems like there's a para in most classrooms. I I don't know if in most classrooms, but there's like, um, there are a lot of paras at at the schools. Yeah. Um, um, It seems to be be 
be in um, a growing field in demand. Yeah, uh, in and demand. It just seems like they're they're. They, it seems like we're always needing someone. Um, and you know, maybe it's because of, of turnover, or maybe it's because large of an influx of size. special classroom, uh, special needs kids, or yeah, yeah. And our and our smaller schools too. Um, when they have like a kindergarten or sometimes a pre K aid, they'll have them go through the program because you just you just don't know when you might get a child in that maybe will require a little right. bit of extra help. Yeah. So and um, so you also teach the um, evening short term class for para. Um, which you've already started a couple weeks ago, I believe, on that one. Or have you had two classes now? Well, the first class got snowed out. Snow. <laughs> so, so we've had one class, and then we'll they'll have uh, four more. It's it's a total of twenty four hours. Okay. Um, that Broken. they that uh, where we cover um, a curriculum, and there's like five or six modules that they have to cover. Um, a lot of discussion, a lot of um, problem solving, situations, yeah, scenarios, a, a lot of just. Um, um, helping each other through, you know, figuring out um, ways to handle different different situations or, you know, problem solve things. Um, yeah. A- along with um, history of, you know, how we're, how special education came to be. So it's um, and all the different disabilities because more than likely they're dealing with a child with one or two disabilities. You know, maybe um, maybe they've got a small group, so maybe they have several. But um, this kind of gives them an uh, an idea of of all the different um, a broad view of all the different situations. And mm-hmm. um, so that evening pair of classes, we te- do you teach it probably twice a year? Is it seem one in fall and one in spring or sometimes just once a year? Yeah, just it depends upon the need. Like this year we, That's we had been a, need, a great need. So, um, yeah, because it's um, a full class, isn't right. it? It's, there's eight to, eight to ten in there right now. Yeah. Um, um, Okay. So yeah, full. And then when we were talking about the ma- maintenance and groundskeeping, it just reminded me of something Mr. Holt just recently said about the very best um, maintenance cr- employees he's ever had have come from your program that now are em- employed at High Plains. Uh, was it Jenny? Uh-huh. So Jenny came out of your program and she does an outstanding do- job cleaning High Plains. And then also have Jimmy Waddell. And he graduated from your program too. Yeah, yes. And he is our grounds and maintenance. Yeah. Um, Takes care of all the, the yard work. Yeah. It looks awesome. So yeah. let's talk about last week. You went to Western Technology Student Center with some of your students and competed in Regional Skills USA. So tell us um, the different contests they competed in and how they did. Okay. Well, I took um, this year nine students to uh, Burns Flat and um, they competed against, I think there were six other technology centers that were there. Um, they're all service career programs um, that, that come in. And um, we basically, we have about probably 12 to 15 different um, areas that the kids may compete in. But what my kids competed in this year, um, I had two students in grounds equipment, which is identifying parts and, and safety and, and working with a mower, weed eater, and edger. Um, we had a tool. I had three in tool identification, which is just um, identifying the tools and then doing a skill. Um, they have to put two boards together and um, drill it and use safety, correct safety equipment and, uh-huh. and um, put the nuts and the flat washers and everything in order. And, and so there's a skill involved there. Um, I had a student in small engines that um, ID the part and have to tell the uses and how they work and, and what their purpose is. Um, also, I had a student this year that did financial fitness. Um, oh, wow. One of my young ladies, which is um, writing checks and balancing a checkbook and um, um, making sure you put down your ATM cards and your that kind of thing. And she did very well in that, too. And then finally, um, one of my adult students went as in carpet maintenance, where um, you, th- you think it's n- that's pretty easy. Yeah. But um, there's really so much involved. It's like there's like 10 steps they've got to do from moving furniture to using attachments to checking their cords. So it's a little bit more involved than what you think. And yeah. so um, they all had really large groups that they competed against. So um, it was a pretty was tough challenge tough Challenge this year. And mm-hmm. how'd they do? Um, well, we had um, out of the out of the nine, there's going to be seven going to state. Um, we had um, two in, in, in our grounds equipment. We had a first and second. Wow. Um, in our tool ID, we had a first and second wow. and a fifth. And then we had um, our our little young lady that did the uh, financial fitness got second place and our um, small engines got first. And then um, our young man that 
was in carpet maintenance got second place. That is so, very impressive. So, you guys studied and practiced and for a um, couple of weeks, didn't you? And yeah. it obviously paid off. Yeah, a, a lot of them have to take. Uh, several of the groups have to take a safety test, uh-huh. and so they we they prepped and we did that um, early on in January. And so then it was just working on their skills and being able to identify their tools and yeah. and their parts and that kind of thing. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now those students that go to state, when is the state competition? It will be in April. Um, it will be the 21st. The, or is that, I, that I think weekend? we leave the week. It's a week after Easter Sunday. Okay. So it may be the 21st. Um, and it's, and we'll be gone. We'll leave on a Sunday and they'll be gone till we'll get back on a Tuesday. Awesome. So, um, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big trip. That that's exciting. And now with COVID being a little different, they're able to actually go in person and now compete compared to the last two years they've missed out. That's right. So that's, that's great. Right. Well, thank you, Karen, for um, being my guest today, and thank you all for listening. We'll be here um, back here next week on one hundred point one. Thank you.